injuries. Charlton welcome back South African duo Mark Fish and Sean Bartlett from injury. Simon Brotherton saw this one. The referee happy, the wall is back the full 10 yards as Klaus Jensen prepares to take this free kick. Saved by Nicky Weaver. Well hit by the Dane though. Jensen with the corner. Rufus getting up well. Johansson! And Charlton are in front. Jonathan Johansson with the goal. Manchester City failed to clear their lines. And Johansson found the gap. His 11th of the season. Bishop. Well, Howie getting up well, cries of handball from the crowd, but the players haven't responded and neither has the referee. Tiato, rather casual play. Beacons. Time for Nicky Weaver to consider his options. And time which he hasn't used very well. Here's Kishishev, look at the space. Manchester City are at full stretch and they're 2-0 down. Jonathan Johansson, second of the afternoon. Poor clearance from the goalkeeper. Sloppy play by Manchester City, for which they have been punished. And Darren Huckabee comes on to make his debut for Manchester City just 24 hours after signing from Leeds United. Charlton have just one win from the last six matches before today, but they're away again here. Johansson could be a chance for the hat-trick. But he doesn't take it. This is Paul Dickoff on the far side. Rufus away. Right Phillips. Well, it was worth a try. Seattle. Well, just wouldn't come down quickly enough. Here's Parker. And now Manchester City will have to be careful. Charlton can hit them on the counter-attack here. Bartlett away. He's got Stewart waiting near the penalty spot. Here's Johansson. Oh! What a chance. Robinson. No support on this near side if he chooses to use it. And he does. And the challenge is from Howie, and it's a penalty. Howie almost tried to pull out of making the challenge. It's Stewart against Weaver, and it's 3-0. Stewart scored from the penalty spot against City on the opening day of the season and does so again. They've seen enough. Charlton really enjoying their football this afternoon. Here's Jensen chasing after that one. Oh, what a goal! An unbelievable strike! Jensen goes for the ball with Richard Dunn, and it is the ricochet to end all ricochets. An astonishing goal. Charlton beat City 4-0 back in August at the Valley, and it looks as though that's the way it's going to end up here as well. Here's Huckabee, though, into the penalty area, and he's got a penalty. I'm having that one, he says. It was Kishishev who made the challenge. And Darren Huckabee scores on his debut for Manchester City. Put the penalty away well, but it's a scant consolation. Well, obviously we've been desperate to, to change uh, our fortunes away from home. And I think the way the game was set up today, you know, we're coming off the back of a 5-0. Um, Man City have signed a player just before the game and uh, another sell-out crowd. And, you know, we had to respond. And, uh, you know, the players that got left out very, very disappointed because I could have left out quite a few. In the end, I made five changes from the game at West Ham Boxing Day, and they responded, and we got the result, and that's all that matters. 
What comfort can you draw from a game like that? Um, none at the moment. I'll have to draw some comfort tomorrow and regroup and go again for, for Monday. Big game, massive game for us now Monday at Coventry. Wonderful performance, Mark, from Charlton, mm -hmm. but it's looking bleak for Man City now. Well, I mean, the form at the moment is relegation form and the fact you know, they, they lose at home today, those three points draw against Derby the other day, you know, drop another couple of points and, and go to Coventry on the Monday. Yes, they've signed Hooker be looking to sign other players and look at that performance. They need them because if you don't win your home games in this league, you get relegated. Mm. OK, well done, Charles. So, seven points adrift. Manchester City have won just once in 11 games and slip into the relegation places for the first time. Terry Venables continues to inspire Middlesbrough. They're unbeaten in the last four. Derby and Coventry are just a point clear.